I'm Alan Tran, and this is the definitive guide on how to eat like a pro. I'm a chef, a sports scientist, a registered dietitian. I'm the expert in all things food and nutrition for our US ski and snowboard athletes. My travels take me all over the world, the Sochi Olympics, the X Games, my job came from bad experiences in previous games. We had a lot of problems with food poisoning and quality of food, and they looked to me to help get them ready for competition. A lot of people ask me, how much protein do I need in a day? What I tell them back is, what kind of activity are you doing? For a recreational athlete, multiply your body weight by 0.36. If you're looking to be a power athlete, multiply your body weight by 0.82. That's how many grams you need in a day. True or false? You can't get enough protein out of a vegetarian diet if you're a pro athlete. False. Leaning on plant-based protein sources such as quinoa, beans, tofu, eggs, and dairy if you're not vegan, those things will come together and make a well-balanced diet. You could think of it like this. The protein, they're the bricks of your house. And so if you're building a house, you want good infrastructure. You're breaking down your house, so to speak, when you're working out and rebuilding it in that recovery mode. True or false, if you don't eat protein within 30 minutes of your workout, you lose all your gains. True, the window of 30 minutes after your workout really is a time that your body is looking for nutrients and acting like a sponge, ready to take it in. So there's a common misconception that carbs are bad, but carbs are energy, and so without energy, you can't do your sport. One way to think about your carbs is kindling versus logs, fast carbs versus slow carbs. True or false, sports drinks only help elite athletes. True. Sports drinks really are designed for those that are doing long bouts of activity. For example, a pro basketball player that has to play 48 minutes. One big misconception is eating before bed. Is it a bad thing? The time right before bed is actually a good time to introduce nutrients that you can have throughout your sleep, especially if you're really trying to gain large amounts of muscle. To break it down in its simplest form, you can look at your plate as a guide of your sports nutrition needs. One of the athletes I work with is Chloe Kim, and she's part of the U.S. national halfpipe team. On one day, she might spend a whole day on the slopes, so she'll need that higher end of carbohydrates. For average people who want to start living more like a pro athlete, quality is probably the most important thing, because if you put garbage in, you'll get garbage out. But if you put gold in, you're gonna get gold out.